Alright, hello and welcome back to the Skyrim War Mage Adventures. Um, sorry I'm a little bit late today. Um, I'll stream extra long. Um, <laughs> hey guys, how's it going? Uh, yeah, sorry about that. Um, I got a, a new mailbox. Um, and, well, actually, like, it is basically like the size of Volendrung. Like, the actual mailbox, like, it is actually a pretty decent size comparison. Or, like, this anvil. I thought it was 15 length. No, it's a 15 height mailbox. It's, like, freaking huge. I would need to make my camera bigger just to show you guys how freaking huge this fucking thing is. And the wind is crazy outside. And so I'm out there trying to make my mailbox friggin' level and shit out there. And it's this giant gangly effing mailbox. Volendrung sized mailbox. I'm trying to put it outside. Great. Anywho. Wait, what? I don't even know what's going on. Anywho, we're back. Uh, last time, they, or uh, we, uh, we went ahead and we went to Mizulft. I remember because we crashed episode before that and so we cleared Mazolft and we got every single dwarven ingot out of Mazolft. so now we have a total of 600 ingots or something 653 dwarven metal ingots to work with i can't actually smith dwarven yet which is why in my inventory i have 128 steel ingots Hopefully we'll be able to get there. We'll have to see. But I just want to see if this works. Uh, oh yeah, oh you were? Okay, cool. <laughs> nice. Um, and, uh, what else did we do yesterday? We also went to, um, Labyrinthian. And we actually went through and, uh, got the Staff of Magnus. Um, and hell, we also found, um, well as you can see, actually. Um, Arania is actually wearing the, um... Oh, what the hell's this called? The Archmage's Robe, which is a bit different. Uh, the enchantment we could have probably disenchanted, but the Perma actually changed the enchantment itself, so I can't really disenchant it, which is um, a weird thing. Anywho, uh, I'm going to try to make um, steel swords and hopefully level up enough. Oh, but you know what I wanted to do, actually? I forgot about this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, cool. That's cool. <laughs> Nice. Uh, here, I'm gonna... I forgot about this. So what we're gonna do is to make this even more effective is we need to do a few things first. Oh gosh. I forgot how many things I was actually carrying. Holy shit. Uh, why don't I put some of this stuff away so that I'm not incredibly over-encumbered? It's probably have to do something with that 80 wolf hide. Alright, let's just put most of the stuff away. I can keep on to the leather. Yeah, I can. Cool. Awesome. Uh, but yeah, before I do that, uh, we should go to the Guardian Stones and get the Warrior Stone, because then our blacksmithing will level even faster. <laughs> or we could just... Oh, thanks for the follow, um, Humphrey. Thank you. Um, but our game just crashed then, so that's not cool, man. Um, <laughs> let's try that again. <laughs> Oh, we also discovered yesterday, or last episode, that um, my dexterity slash lockpicking has not been leveling this entire playthrough. Uh, basically, Perma, or Perkus Maximus, which is a mod that overhauls the perk system, uh, combines lockpicking and... Here, wait. Lockpicking and pickpocketing into one perk tree. Is it this one? No, that's Wayfair. And so, the thing is, yeah, it was Humphrey, yeah. Oh, did I say your name horribly wrong? Let me know. Uh, but yeah, so for some reason, like, we haven't been leveling this at all, but we have basically compensated us. Uh, we figured we gained about 20 levels from, like, all the looting we've done. And I'll have to figure out how to wait, like, a way to fix that so that we actually get experience for lockpicks. We'll have to see. 
Anywho. Um, let me try this again. Oh, boy. And hopefully this time, it won't crash on the way over. <laughs> oh, oh you, you hope you didn't crash the game. No, no, that's not you, Humphrey. No, no, you're cool. Okay, now we should be able to move. Now, I think... The only other thing we could do, hilariously, would be to get married. Um, in order to make our leveling even faster. So just for the time being, we're going to get the warrior stone, um, so that we can get more experience for blacksmithing. Alright. Uh, because I think they give you, like, sort of like the equivalent of the well-rested perk for Fallout 4, but, like, for Skyrim. So that's another thing we'll do, is we'll, we'll rest for like 8 hours and get like an extra 5% experience bonus for that. The twilight watches us all, Guardian. Alright. And uh, we also have, uh, in addition to helping us out, we have Ancient Knowledge, which is awesome. Um, which actually, uh, let's see. Dwarven bonuses from Black... Um, yeah, Dwarven armor bonuses and blacksmithing increases 15% faster. So that's amazing. So we'll have, like, the most experience gain we can possibly get from blacksmithing. So let's try to rest for, like, 12 hours and see how that works. Um, I'm not sure, Convoy. One of the things, like, that I always think about is, like, whenever you're doing a playthrough, make sure you're doing a playthrough of a game that you really, really want to play. Um. Oh, hey, Kree. Oh, dude, yeah, Kree. We are definitely going to be playing Automatron. Um, however, it won't be for a while, because really what I want to have is I want to almost play these three DLCs with the same character. And we're going to start a new character like three weeks before Far Harbor. That way we can experience Automatron uh, leveling up with Automatron and also have the um, the workshop available, as well as modding. So, yeah, basically three weeks before is when we're going to start our new um, character. Um, so that should, you know, that's our plan for the time being, at least. Alright, now let's see. Grab our steel again. And I think I was making swords, if I'm not mistaken. Steel. There we go. Oh gosh. Alright, so let's see here. We got our steel. Yeah, it was just a normal steel sword because it, it took like two steel ingots and leather strips, which we have a ton of. Actually, what I like to do is I like to have it at the same level. Um, here. There we go. There we go. Something 20. I think we need to get to 35. Hey, George Birchie. Oh, yeah, we're going to do it. Oh, nope. Steel sword. Oh, are we running out of, uh, what, leather strips? Oh, we are. Oh, we're close. How does my Skyrim load quickly? I have a decent computer. Hey, Bacor, how's it going? Um... Yes, good computer and Skyrim mod organizer, as well as some other mods in there. And you can see the um, you can see the mods in the description below. I, I have listed everything, even the script extender. So, um, what else do I need? Let's get rid of some of these wolf pelts, shall we? I have like eighty-five of them. <laughs> Okay, wait, do I have, um... Nope, nope, where's... <gasps> Quick way to get around the farm is we're all in sprint. <laughs> oh, boy. Also, power attacks help you move a little bit faster. 
<laughs> I don't know if you knew that. Oh, that's just from me being over-encumbered constantly. Little tips and tricks. There we go. There we go. <laughs> uh, for some reason, there was a time and place, or like... A, where, for some reason, I didn't know console commands existed. Because I knew them for Morrowind. But for some reason, like, that knowledge just didn't carry over or something like that. And I, like, didn't understand that the same thing would apply to Skyrim. I don't know why. Alright, so we have reached level 35. Which, uh, blacksmithing. Which means... Well, actually, I don't have an extra perk point to spend. But... Oh gosh, we could do material gold and silver. We could get so much experience for that because I've been hoarding all that stuff. Um, but we also have dwarven metal, uh, which would be amazing. That's true. Yeah. Um, Ooh, that's interesting. While wearing full Dwarven, I take 15% less damage from Falmer and Dwemer machines. Fun fact. Um, so, but I do have to level up. So I might as well just craft more swords until I can actually level up. Seems legit. And then we can just save our steel. Because, like, we're close to leveling up as it is. Bam. Level up. Uh, stamina. Yes. Help with that carry weight issue I keep dealing with. And Dwarven Metal. Heck yes. Now, if I take Dwarven Metal out of here, like, I just want to know what the actual recipes are for Dwarven Equipment. I go by name. That's name. Yeah, my Easter was great. We had um we had lamb and we had um what else? Other stuff. Why <laughs> what? <laughs> uh lamb and uh and ham actually. Lamb and ham. Um And there was like a pineapple bread pudding, which was very cool as well. Now, I've heard that the best thing to make is like a dwarven bow, apparently. So let's just make a shit ton of these. Now, I do need steel, leather strips, and dwarven metal ingots, which is a bit funky. Need to work over Easter? Oh, man. How many? I can make 20 more bows? Holy shit. You worked over Easter too? Damn. Oh my gosh, really, George? That sounds terrible. Jeez. Now it looks like we do actually need steel to make dwarven bows. So I'll see what happens when we don't have steel, like maybe there's certain dwarven stuff I can make with only dwarven metal, but it seems pretty limited. So we can make dwarven claws, a dwarven katar, and dwarven knuckles, so we can only make like dwarven fist weapons. Which is interesting, but there you go, so, you know, just wanted to take some time to level up my smithing a little bit. Because we've neglected it, like, the entire time. So, let's... Nice, we've got 34 Dwarven Bows and 47 Steel Swords. Oh, you know what else we could do? We could, um, sharpen all these bows. It's not really sharpening, is it? Why 
does everything have to be so far apart? Superior. Oh man, this is fantastic. Just raise my smithing up. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Anytime broken glass is involved is just yeah. You get a hazmat team to clean that up. Don't even, don't even bother. <laughs> get spray paint. <laughs> like, spray paint a circle around it and go, no. <laughs> Just write, no. Yes. This is crazy. I mean, we have so many dwarven ingots, I can do this... Like, well, I can't actually do this forever because apparently you do need steel um, based on the crafting mods that I have, but hell. One session of crafting and uh, we're smithing level 47, so that's awesome. We also have got like a crazy amount of dwarven bows to sell. Now I wonder, could we actually deconstruct like our no we can't okay it'd be cool if we could smelt down our iron sword or our steel swords to get the steel back to make torven bows D oh did you george did you all right why are they all different though like now i would just have an inventory full of like different dwarven bows and apparently this one's better than all the other ones which makes no sense all right, what else am I carrying that I don't need? There we go, there we go. And 85 wolf pelts. The twilight watches us all, Guardian. And I'm just going to put this away because friggin' A. All right, then um, we have the Staff of Magnus, so we'll head back to um, the Arcane University. There's a few things we want to do there as well. Oh, really? That's pretty cool. Uh, oh, yeah. I guess I have some other stuff to sell as well. Alright, so. All these Dwarven Superior Bows, which do not stack for some reason. There we go. Don't ask me why. Oh yeah, I also have a spell where I could basically, without materials, make all those Iron Swords into Superior Swords. It's kind of weird. Alright, let me save, because I don't want to lose the progress for that. Uh, let's also go back to the Atronach stone to get our Atronach power back. Because I don't want to do without that. Because that extra spell absorption is actually fantastic. Woo! Alright. We'll have to, like, travel back and forth for, uh, that stuff. Oh gosh, um, the College of Winterhold isn't something I can travel back to. That's not a good thing. That means bad things are happening. By sure. Is that um We all <laughs> we also figured out that this spell does 340 damage. <laughs> oh gosh, okay. Crap, I missed. Oh, yeah, I forgot. I also... There's a lot of things I wanted to do. Um, I also wanted to re-enchant my weapon. Uh, because... And I'll show you why I wanted to re-enchant my weapon. So it's disenchanted right now, which sucks. But... I wanted to disenchant it because I recently found... Oh. Wait, where'd that book go? Wait, did I learn that spell? Uh-oh. I'll have to buy that spell. Basically, there's a spell cloak spell, so that if, if it's a cloak that envelops me much like a flame or, like, frost or electric cloak would but instead it does soul trap to everybody near me which is awesome all right 
Um, I'm pretty sure that magic anomaly just fell off the cliff. Do not push me off. Okay. You survive. You have it then? Let's hope it's as powerful as the Sigics believe it to be. Um Why are you all the way out here? Look for yourself. Ancano's power is growing. We can't crack whatever magic he's using to shield himself. I hope your trip to Labyrinthian was worth it. Okay. Let's get in I'll there. Be right behind you. Oh gosh, really? I just want to make sure I'm not hitting anybody. Damn it, it's not my favorites list anymore. Freaking A. No, not that. Good? Okay. Okay, so I think I have to use the Staff of Magnus here. Yeah, there we go. Wait, what? Oh, you know what I should do? Uh, I'm gonna switch these up, because there's a, there's a different spell I can use, which is amazing. Let's see, where is it? It's Shattershock. Not this weekend, hopefully next weekend. Ha, I am beyond your pathetic attempts at magic. You cannot touch me. The staff, use it on the eye. Enough! You do very well. Come then, see what I can do now. I'll have all your magic on Kano, all of it! Wow, why is this doing like no damage to him at all? I am confused. I don't think that's working. I'm gonna try to get the Eye of Magnus to hopefully help out here. Oh, I can activate it. Try it again? I think I'm doing something wrong. Did 
Okay, let's just try to smack him in the face. Oh, and kill the wraiths. Okay. Probably do dual casted lightning bolt. No, not not her. I want the the thing. Oh shit! I think I hit one of them. I think I'm hitting them by accident. Can I now hurt Uncano? I cannot be <laughs> nah, I can't even hit him. Damn, alright. I've activated it again. Oh, let's see. I have to recharge it with Bish or Azura Star. Alright, let me see. Now let's try to hit him. That worked. Lol, lol, lol. I knew you could do it. Oh, uh, what do we do now? I, I don't know. Ancano is gone, but whatever he's done to the eye doesn't seem to have stopped. I have no idea what to do. Oh, you're here. We knew you would succeed. Your victory here justifies our belief in you. You have proven yourself more than worthy to guide the college of Winterhold. Let's see. Um, okay, what do we do now? The eye has grown unstable. It cannot remain here or else it may destroy your college and this world. It must be secured. Onkano's actions prove that the world is not ready for such a thing. We shall safeguard it. For now. You now have the opportunity to maintain your college and carry on with your lives. <laughs> you have our gratitude, Archmage. Now who is it, Bakora, I believe, said why couldn't they have just taken it in the first place if they knew that this was going to happen? You've done it. The college is safe again thanks to your work. I knew you had it in you. I dare say the Sidics are right. There's no one more deserving to be Archmage, in my opinion. Here, consider these yours, and the Archmage's quarters as well. I shall be here for advice, should you need me. Did you just give me more Archmage robes? Yes. Until next time. Wait, really? Oh shit, yeah. Oh no way, we both have Archmage robes. <gasps> That's awesome. Oh, his arm's actually very messed up. Oh no, it's not. I can't move him for some reason. You are right, though. Normally you're supposed to hide the dead bodies. Oh, well. Go train with the dead body on the floor. Nothing to worry about here. Alright, let's check out our new quarters. <laughs> oh, 
Oh gosh, George. I know, why didn't they prevent it? Like, they knew it was going to happen. Like, the only reason they even let it happen in the first place was like, Oh, we're gonna see if they can handle the Staff of Magnus. Oh, we also see that you're going to have to prevent the Staff of Magnus from being, you know, abused. That would, in fact, mean that it doesn't go well. <laughs> yes, champion of us. I don't know, man. Spider eggs. Alright, let's take some of the cool shit out of here. Take white caps and shit. Hell yeah. Got all the nice ingredients in here. And all the soul gems, yes, yes, all the soul gems. I like that we have two archmage robes now. Arena, Ar Arena, has one, and I have one now. You missed the ho 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 travel as you did. Now, unfortunately, you know what? Am I where? What? Unfortunately, it does take up a hood, like, I mean, it's it's cool looking, but at the same time, it actually takes up space, which is really unfortunate, and for some reason, I can't disenchant it, which sucks. But whatever. The twilight watches us all, Guardian. Yeah, I can't disenchant it. I think normally I would have been able to, but, um... But yeah, for some reason, uh, see, it changes. I think normally it increases... I think it buffs normally things by 15 Magicka and, like, Magicka regen by 100 or something. Um, but yeah, it's different, so I can't disenchant it. Or I would have to get, like, a new um, thing that works the perma or something like that. Wow, that's that's crazy, Slushy Master. Wow. I mean, that's one way to do it, right? Freaking A. I think the Archmage's boots just have, like, shock resistance. What the hell is a fur collar loose? Can I wear that? Oh my gosh, I can wear it with everything else I have. What does that look like? I just have, like, a fur collar. <laughs> That's really weird looking. But it's another piece of equipment I can put on. And there's another Archmage. How many Archmage robes are there? Okay, wait. So this one... I guess is without the hood? So that one's without the hood. Okay. Okay. Interesting. So there's there's a few... We have like three different Archmage robes. The ones that we actually took from him. Um, interesting. Either him do fence. I know, really? Archmage t-shirts for everyone. It's crazy. Alright. Sweet. So this like can be almost like our second home or something like that. Which is awesome. Alright, uh, we do have to get one other thing here. So we've, we've basically completed the Mage's Guild, which is awesome. But there's like this weird little side thing where we can get rings. Um, and put them on the weird fingers downstairs. So apparently there's a chest Ancona somewhere. Exactly also, so about access to the college. I need to we find the guy who sells conjuration spells. We have survived difficult times and are better mages for it. We owe you that, Archmage. Thank I thought it was... Are you looking questions? for any specific volumes, Trevis? Hmm? Yeah, there we go. So we got all these weird rings. Oh, no, no. From the investigator's chest, and we learned that they were doing some weird ritual in, in the midden. That's not you. Alright, so let me try to find the uh, conjuration guy. I don't know where the book went that I bought, but it's a soul cloak. So instead of actually putting souls on my weapons, um, 
like, uh, soul trap on my weapon, I can send focus on other stuff and, uh, use a cloak for it, so... I'll find him and try to see if we can get soul cloak. I found it while I was, like, selling stuff in, uh, White Run, but he might have it. Technique. If you would, the summoning of undead is even less... Alright, let's see. So, you wish to master the arcane arts? Let's see. So, I want... Soul Cloak, there we go. For 120 seconds, nearby hostile targets fill soul gems on death. Oh. Do I have stuff to sell to you? I don't know if I do. I have like three Archmage robes. Um... I think I have Thalmor stuff already, so I can probably sell these to you. I think that'll be enough. That's crazy. Trader now sells Archmage robes. It's crazy. <laughs> oh my gosh. Let's see. Um, how you doing, Doge fan? Let's see. Soul Cloak. Alright. So let's learn that. Oh. And let's favorite that as well. Damn it. Let's see. Soul Cloak. What do you need, Doc? We all have to thank you. There's no reason to actually dual Your cast it. Well Does it. Oh, so I get like swirly bits around me. That's cool. That sounds so crazy, Slushy Master. Alright, so, let's head back. I do want to re-enchant re my hammer with probably weakness to magic again. Um, and I'm off to do some different stuff. Probably some, um... We'll probably do some Daedric quests, I'm thinking. Yes, champion of Azura. All right, let me put the uh, ingredients that I took. Actually, they don't weigh anything, do they? So it does not even matter. Woo! Because I've been carrying around this fresh meat for a while, and I've been afraid that I would eat it, like, by accident. Which could happen. Oh, yeah, we also have to do that. Damn, I'm really forgetful. <laughs> All right, let's take this black soul gem, and let's enchant this hammer. You can also enchant the fur collar. We're probably going to take that off because it looks ridiculous. Alright, so we will do weakness to magica. What's everyone's favorite ice cream flavor? Hmm. I think 20 was what I went with last time, which was a decent amount. So target is 20% weaker to magica for 10 seconds. Yeah. Favorite fin or favorite? Mm. That is favorited. Okay, and we're probably gonna put the Steph Magnus away, honestly, because you know, all right, but not great. Just how it is. Um, I like some. I like. It's called Moose Tracks, which is like chocolate caramel and. I forget what the other chocolate covered component is. It's not peanuts. But it's something like crunchy like that. Yes, champion of Azura. Really, Bakora? How can you not like honey? It's literally just better sugar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, convoy. <laughs> Alright, so let's check this out. I've never done this before. Mostly because I never knew where to look, actually. <laughs> Is it 
down here? I think it's down here. Or no, it's not down here. Oh gosh, hello there. Oh, uh, let's soul cloak. That's me punching the air. And then we'll uh, lightning bolt. Nice! I like it. Alright, let me, uh, I'm gonna redo some of my magic stuff. So I think we'll make Fallen Drung 1, Soul Cloak 2, Electrosphere 3, and Lightning Bolt 4. There we go. Oops, that was the wrong way. <laughs> what do you need? At some point, I think I want to get Serana, because I think she's a better companion. Um, we could also just do that quest line as well. Because friggin' why not? But I want to do some Daedric stuff as well, because when it comes down to it... When it comes down to it, I really like doing... Um, wait, what is it? What's our highest leveled thing is level 71 Heavy Weaponry. Friggin' A. Crazy stuff. Ah, uh, here it is. Alright, so let's check this out. Ooh. Um. How do I know what fingers what? Uh, book? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hmm, interesting, okay. So this literally, like, could be an awful, awful thing, actually. Um, now there are four skeletons? Sort of? They all have hooks. Hmm, okay. Well, we're gonna save in case something awful happens. Let's just go in order. I want the index, the middle finger. Middle? How come I'm only getting like three fingers? Little, ring, and index. Should I be getting more fingers? The frick? I must be doing this totally wrong. Hmm. I'm just gonna try it on- there we go, okay. Just force it. Until one of the rings actually fits on there, I guess. There we go. Middle finger. There we go. Oh. Oh. Hey, Lord Nerva. Whoa. Uh, we're beneath the College of Winterhold, the, the Midden. Going back to where you belong, Dremora? Where I belong is back aboard my ship on the Apician. You 
There's no hope of defeating me, pup! Don't bother! Why not broker a bargain instead? Uh, I'm listening. Those kids are dead anyway. Killing me won't bring them back. I, on the other hand, have done quite a bit with my time. Uh, what wealth is this? Interesting. Years back, I had to ferret away some booty nearby. We sunk an Imperial galleon off the coast. Good plunder, but we needed to travel light. Oh we stashed what we couldn't carry, and I hid it with a trick I know. I can point you in the right direction, and we'll each go our separate ways. Um, how could I even release you? Names have power, lad. You should know by now. Just say, Valak Saint, I release you, and poof! Uh, sure, why not? Whatever. I release you. Take the map. The loot's hidden there. It'll show itself when you get near. See you on the other side, mortal. Interesting, okay. See what this is about. What if it's just a picture of a of a dick? Okay, it's not. That'd be really funny if it was, though. <laughs> he just hands me this map and it's just a picture of a dick. <laughs> if that'd be that would uh, they should do that one time. They should totally do that. Like. I, I realize that might actually bring up, like, I don't know, it, to mature level or something. It is mature level, the, the actual... I think it is. So you can't get more than that, I don't think. Except for, like, that one GTA that had, like, that one What's feature in it. That'd be pretty damn funny. Now, I think... Ooh, we have to kill that thing for kind. Also, it could possibly give us a dragon soul. I don't know why it happens, but it does. Okay. So, Soul Cloak is two. And Electrosphere. We're gonna get real close to this thing. Now it seemed like it was on an island somewhere over here, maybe. Actually, there's a few different places out here we should probably check out. Gosh. Yeah! There we go! Nice! All the soul gems! Zora. The Zora is actually like pretty prominent in this area. You can see her from like a very long while away. Yeah, I'm the real human. <laughs> what happened to Morrowind? Um, gosh, it's been a while since I've last played Morrowind actually. Um, 
Like a long while. Like, I haven't played Morrowind for probably about a year. So, you know, I'm making my way down the list. Um, I know that name, though. <laughs> Friggin' A, that's amazing. Um, but yeah, we haven't played Morrowind in a long time. We, we started playing off Morrowind. Like, that was my first... Um, oh, I'm in combat, apparently. Who the hell are you? Oh, it's... Oh! It's a Reaping Warrior. Anybody else? Or is that it? Oh gosh, you summoned a Frost Agent off. <laughs> okay. But yeah, we've been making our way through the series. So we've, we've played, uh, we played Morrowind, we played Oblivion, and then we played Skyrim. We might revisit, like, some older stuff, but, like, we'll probably go back to Morrowind after Fallout 4. Like, it's full release of, like, all the mods that is available, so it's gonna be quite a while till we go to, uh, Morrowind. Most likely. Let's get our soul cloak up. No soul cloak. And I'm just gonna go chain lightning here. Oops. Sorry. She'll forgive me, right? If I, like, do that a bunch of times. Skeletal mage. Wow, this skeletal mage is actually quite a formidable foe. Holy crap. Shit, that's awesome. There we go. We're good there. What do we got here? Potent frenzy poison and a wicked dagger. Cool. I already have one of those though. What's going on here? Gosh, how many lockpicks do I have? I don't know if I have that many. Okay then, hello there. <laughs> Nothing like doing that paralysis to a Draugr uh, overlord. Dunk. The oh. Hi there. Skeleton Scourge Hero. Oh my gosh, is that a- <gasps> That is a Dwarven Battle Axe. That is one of my favorite weapons in the entire game. Just like the design and everything. Oh crap, when did, um... Oh, for fuck's sake. That was tough. <laughs> He's wearing different stuff this time. That's weird. Hey George Virtue, how's it going? I died. It's 
cool though. There's some weird like Daedric pirate. So we're gonna find some treasure. That's the plan. Although we found like I'm surprised it didn't auto save when we went out here, actually. It's kinda weird. Now I don't know if the loot's gonna be the same. Probably not. Which is a bit unfortunate. I'm gonna take a look at the map again. This is the map we have to find the treasure for. So I think this thing has to be in the background, wherever it is. We have to have a statue of Talos as well. So I want to check that place out anyway, so might as well just head down there. Unfortunately, that horker is not a kind spirit. But whatever. Favorite Daedric Prince, Shio Gorath. It's not even a question. Besides Shio Gorath? Now that would be a tough one. Um, hmm... Not even sure. I find probably the second one that comes to might is Clavicus. Because I think just Clavicus is a very funny Daedric Prince. He's basically like the bad genie of Daedric Princes who like promises all these things. And while you do gain power most of the time, it's like not what you, you know, wished for or like through terrible, terrible means, and it's he's just I just find him to be like the second funniest prince. When it comes to just, like, screwing people over royally. You do not have enough magicka. That is a shame. Bam! I'll take the pelt, actually. What the skeleton guardian? Gosh, we got some bad dudes on the horizon. Clothing composite bow. I'll take that. Seems like I still need some more magicka, really. If we want to go, like, full on, like, war mage and be able to use a lot of lightning. I think li lightning naturally costs more than most other magics, if I'm not mistaken. I could be mistaken, of course. Love that spell, though. Fortunately, I do, like, gain a... Like, my spell absorption is absolutely fantastic. Which helps a lot. Let me just get a little bit of a reboost there. Soul gem large enough for that guy. Ancient Lord Soul. Soul. Think I heard one of them. Yep, he came back to life. Cause that happens sometimes. There we go. Wow, he can summon stuff too. That's pretty wild. need that poison really now I guess what we should do here instead of here actually I'm gonna do this let's go to destruction we're gonna take out lightning cloak because we don't really need it oh 
Oh, you know what? Um, I'm also a big fan of uh, Hermaeus Mora. Is also really fun. Whoa! Well, hello there. Gosh, there's more? Holy crap. All these dudes just came out of nowhere. He's got steel plate armor, I'll take that. Garnet. Oh man, what? He's coming back to life. Friggin' A. Nordic Barber. Hey Zanzen, how's it going? Alright. Let's quick save. Woo! Nice! Barbarian Great Axe. Now his helmet looks a bit different. I'm not sure if we can actually take that or not. So let's search. No, we can't take his helmet. Interesting. Alright. Pollution regeneration before the ages of man. No, I think we read that already. Yep. Alright, let's check this chest out. Good Zansen. All right. Ooh. We just got a treasure. We well, we just finished the. Um... Interesting. We just finished the uh, the Archmage, or well, we became we became the Archmage, so we are actually um, we beat the Mage's Guild, and we just got a map from a Daedric pirate. Um, I actually think it's right around here, so it's not actually here at all. It's actually over here, now that I look at the map. I just found this on the way, and I thought, that'd be cool to look at. Yeah, that's where it is. So we're on that... Unfortunately, I can't actually point there. But we're on that big island. I'm wondering if I can scale down easily. There's also some sort of shrine. Although I imagine it's one of those um... Oh gosh, that's not good at all. I wonder if there's like a slow fall spell. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? It's probably in this pack somewhere. I should probably try to find it. Alright, cool. Let's try and find this treasure then. So I think we were... I think, yeah, that's the place. The other place on the map. Oh, yeah, Zen Zen. Nice. Uh, here we are. Pillar of Storm Cult. Oh, gosh, I did not see that wolf. He blended into, like, everything. Put my soul cloak up and electrosphere. That was easy. <laughs> no, I guess, I mean, since I'm here, I should probably. I mean. I forget. Doesn't this place have to deal with a quest later on? That maybe I shouldn't do it right now? Maybe we'll skip that area and try to go over this way. What's up, Horker? How come I can't... There we go. Woo! Found 
bouncing horkers! Paralysis has some very interesting physics involved with it. Yeah, I think that's used for something later, so let's head over to this island and see if we can't get this treasure revealed to us. Yeah, because this is the small island that... There we go. Let's get a pelt. Sweet. Yeah, I need more Magicka. Or I just need, like, better Magic Regen. Which, you know, would be possible if I could wear, like, any of these Archmage robes. But unfortunately, I can't actually get the, um... Like, the Disenchant from them. Which is unfortunate. Shrine of Telos. Elves Ear and Nern Root. A small pearl. Is that an elven double edge? What? Oh, so let's take a look at this. That's nice. So it's not a dwarven battle axe, but it definitely takes the same shape. Which is honestly, like, one of my favorite weapon types. Like, well, I like Warhammer's the best, but, like, this... It, it's just a really damn cool axe. So, like that. Yeah, it's a double-bladed double um, elven axe, which honestly looks awesome. Wow. I'm... I don't do... I'm not sure if axes count as bladed weapons, though. <gasps> Here it is! <gasps> Holy crap! Oh, that's awesome! Imperial Sword of Torpor? A Debella statue? Gold purses? Gold ingots? Amulet of Talos? That's awesome. That's awesome. Cool. So that that that's the uh, treasure then. Sweet. Hey, there's like a little camp over here. Ooh, and there's uh one of those um spirits of kind. Let's go find it. Let me just get used to the uh stuff here. I think I have to get close enough to it. Mario! Kind of was pleased, though. That's good. I think they're aggressive, if I'm not mistaken. Even though that, that makes my heart sink a little bit, because huskies are adorable. Um, we'll just forget that happened. <laughs> Whoops. What is going on up here? Okay, some skeletons. There's a note, actually, for Shelly. Yeah, in Oblivion, yeah. I'm not sure. Is that the same way in um, in Skyrim that you have to do all of the um, stuff before Herme Hermaeus Mora? I forget exactly. Alright, your ship should have arrived weeks ago, and I fear the worst has happened. I've set up camp on the rocks um, as your ship uh, should pass by, hopefully. Uh, one of these days, we'll be together again. If you're reading this, I'm probably out hunting, bringing some supplies. Uh, I'll be waiting here again until I see your face. Atreus. I assume that didn't go well. The whole waiting and sitting around here until you see her again. I'm pretty sure she's eaten. You can take oars. That's nice. There's also this location which comes in handy later, so I'm going to grab it. I think this is for the companions later on. Anywho, we should do some danger quests. One of the ones I want to do first is I definitely want to do, um, this dude's. Alright.
right, so let me get the quest up. Let's grab... There's. We could also meditate. To Uloi <laughs> Pagora? Alright, so let's see. I think we need to go miscellaneous. And, oh my gosh, we have so many quests. Holy crap. Could also visit the Museum of Dawnstar. Um, there's also the ruins that I want to check out at some point, too. Here we go. The dog outside Falkreath. Here we go. And see Barbarous. Nice. Um, did you just talk? Yeah, Skyrim is now host to giant flying lizards and two-legged cat men. And you surprised by me? Yeah, I just talked, and I'm continuing to do so. <laughs> you see, my name is Bobbis, and I have a problem I think you can help sort out. Um... So, what could a dog need help with? My master and I had a bit of a falling out. We got into an argument and it got rather heated. He's kicking me out until I find someone who can settle our disagreement. That's where you come in. Okay. Sounds easy enough. Let's go find him. Thank you. Now, since he banished me, Vile's been rather weak. He can't manifest very far from one of his shrines. I know there's a cult that worships him at Hamar's Shane. We should be able to talk to him there. If this works out, I'll make sure you're rewarded. And just don't trust any offer he makes you, okay? Okay, Daedra's best friend. Yes, now, I'm not sure... I mean, it says travel with him, but we totally have Hamar Shame marked on our map, so I'm not sure we might be able to just fast travel there. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Hamar Shame, because that is a long way to follow him. <laughs> we did quick save before he left, so we'll see if this works yes. out. Champion of oh, cool. We're good. We're good. Um, I don't think I have any black soul gems on me. For some reason, my actual claws can't help me there. So. We good? Um... That's a freaking dragon. <laughs> well then! Am I over encumbered for fuck's sake, really? Damn. Got a Bosmer full cape though, that sounds fun. Uh, let's see here. Let's drop some steel plate armor and then hope it doesn't move. I also want like all the other things as well. No oh, gosh. Also, who the hell was this? It was just a normal Stormcloak soldier. Oh, the poor person. Luckily, I think all of my magic has gone up, which is nice. Are right, you gonna like stand in one spot? Now, I'm not sure where he's going to try to land. Okay, up there. Probably going to eat Volgar with this. Oh gosh, he's untextured! Kill it! Kill it! There we go. Now he's textured. Oh my. Drop it like one arrow I picked up. There we go. Damn it. 
Alright, Dragon Soul Absorb. Let's see, how many do I have right now? I have three Dragon Souls, which means I can actually convert it into a perk if I want to. Which would be kind of nice. And I'll probably do that. Because there's a lot of things we could <laughs> we could use. Is that your horse? Right, anyway, there was like a person in full Bosmer armor? Which seems awesome. And a Bosmer mask. What the hell? Interesting. Empire Mistwalker. Alright, you got some shit to carry. Yes. Ah, good. And our backpack's empty. Wonderful. Like 15 other things, or other, uh... I'm Archmage robes that I have in my inventory. Alright, let's see. Steel plate. Alright, I think we're good now. Of course, we have to do our civic duty and knock something down the hill. Oh, come on. Do it. Nope. Flip it. A little bit. Stupid wagon. <laughs> I'm sure the horse will kick it as well. Alright. Tame our shame. Which I guess is like filled with vampires? Fun stuff. The twilight watches us all. Uh, I'd rather go lightning right now. Gem, nice. Oh man, really? What are you even wearing? Just got like a weird skull cap. There we go. Nordic war pick. Didn't mean to take that. Nordic male heavy. Take the vampire dust. What the hell did I pick up? My sneak increased? That that's a synergy, right? Because that makes no sense. Who is my favorite Adric Prince? Oh, <laughs> your internet died? That was a long time ago. Um I was saying that one that my top probably my top three are um Sheogorath, um Hermaeus Mora. And Clavicus Vile are my, my top three. Alright, let's see. Yours is Nocturnal. Nocturnal is pretty cool too, yeah. I like how his sword was actually stuck in the air for a little bit. We oh, yeah, have here bloody skulls and stuff. Ooh. Elven armor of eminent conjuring and a Dwemer control rod. What? What the hell is a Dwemer control rod? That looks awesome. It's like a mace or something. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> Alright. Blue boy's turning. Tunic. Nope. Can we bust through there? Nope. Sometimes you can like push away boards, which is really cool to do sometimes. 
Nope, just a normal Imperial. Keeps are worth a decent amount. Heavy armor increased. That's good. Gold. Uh, I always like taking vampire armor. Taking the capes. Arani is friggin' deadly, man. She's crazy. Counting of the scrolls vampire dust, hell yeah. Alright, now it looks like... Huh. It's a little way down there and the... Oh, that's where we came from. Okay, never mind. I like how if I kill people while, like, using lightning spells because it actually like freezes them, their weapons stay in the air for a little bit. Oh wait, no, I I came from up here. So that's a new way too. Huh. Yeah, I don't um what spell is she using to actually make people fly across the room like that? Uh let me see. She's using a very high level lightning spell I think uh let's see magic let's see view standard spells ice spike fast healing ice storm ice spear I've seen her ice storm a few times it's hilarious chain lightning thunderbolt lightning bolt so she's probably using thunderbolt and she can conjure a Frost Atronach and use a ward. Interesting. Until next time, cool stuff. Guardian. Damn it, really? Okay. Uh oh. Um. Oh, sorry. Thought we crashed there for a second. Let me um, save before that happens. Um, yeah, as you can see, we're still not gaining experience for uh, lock picking, which sucks. I have to figure out why that is. I, I tried to download a fix yesterday, but it, it didn't really work. It doesn't even show up in the list, really, which is weird. I'll take the cape. Good. We always need more lock picks because I keep breaking them all the time because I don't get experience. That is normally a skill book, but I think we've read it probably like three times already. Spiders. I absorbed his poison shot. Which is interesting. Really interesting, George. So, you have Percus Maximus and you don't even have the dexterity tree. Is that what you're saying? I hear a lot of uh, stuff going on. Hey, Darth Gandalf, how's it going? Oh my gosh. Why are there so many people here? Apparently, I'll gut him like a horker. That's not cool, man. I 
can't believe how like crazy my heavy weaponry is. <laughs> no, don't do that. <gasps> oh man. Um I think we need more magicka. I mean Yeah, I'm gonna do it more magicka. So then, do you just have normal lock picking? Is that how it works, George? Alright, so actually one of the things I want to do is I actually want to go into... Dexterity. Or I guess, wait, you, you don't have the thief. Because there's different, like, Perkis Maximus things and you can actually choose one over another. Huh. Then it'd be a waste to actually use these, but unburdened seems like an amazing thing to have. Hmm. I got a text? What the hell? Just check this. Oh, good. I'm not sure. I mean... I'll I'll re reimburse myself if this is if this is the case anyway, because I definitely want to get unburdened because that'd be amazing. It was infest. I can reverse pickpocket a poison or adhesive. That's cool though. Oh, so you know what? It, uh, so in this case, what it does is it changes. Um, Normally, this would be lockpicking, and it changes it to Wayfair, which is like knowledge of the land, and you actually gain experience the more you travel above ground, and it gives you different things, like you can actually, like, like what the hell is this? Error recovery chance, um, getting additional ingredients, um, you do additional damage to creatures that you, like, know more about, you can even, like, have wild companions you basically learn lore about different stuff, it's interesting. So you don't have Wayfair, but you have Percus Maximus. So that might be where I sh like, what direction I should go. In which case, I just wasted my perk point there, but whatever. Um. Hmm. Interesting. Redguard Knight Cape. Take all this Red Guard Knight stuff. It's awesome. Yeah, that's one thing I was thinking is that it might not actually be installed correctly. <laughs> so I think normally it is supposed to give you all that stuff. There's all the Dwarven Mage stuff. What's the name of the mod? The name of the mod is Percus Maximus. But yeah, I'm having an issue where, um, I, I have all of them, so I have Mage, Thief, and Warrior, um, Percus Maximus. And for some reason, like, I don't gain, like, I gave myself levels in Dexterity, but I, through lockpicking, I never actually gain any levels through it. It's really weird. Right. Let's talk to uh, Clavicus. Lord Clavicus, I have a request of you. By all means, let's hear it. It's the least I could do since you already helped me grant one final wish. <laughs> oh, thanks for the follow. Here, wait. Friggin. They were suffering so from vampires. Uh, devious perplexio. Thank then you. Then you came and ended their misery. I couldn't have planned it better myself. <laughs> So, Clive what's Kispire. your heart's desire? What kind of deal can we strike? Okay. I'm just here to reunite you with Barbaros. Uh, that insufferable pup! Forget it! Request denied! No deal! I'm glad to be rid of him. Even if it does mean I'm... Stuck in this pitiful shrine. 
in the back end of nowhere. Well, perhaps there is a way he could earn his place back at my side? Maybe, but no promises. All right, what's your offer? Here's an axe. An incredibly powerful axe. An axe powerful enough for me to have quite a bit of fun indeed. If you bring it to me, I'll grant you my boon. No strings attached, no messy surprises. At least not for you. As I recall, it's resting in Rhyme Rock Burrow. Barbers can lead you right to it. Little Mutt might even earn his place back at my side. Yeah. All right. What do you need, Guardian? Let's retrieve the rueful axe. Yeah, I know my admins are arguing. Yeah, I know. Eventually, they'll learn that it's a dumb thing to do. <laughs> Word choice is incredibly important in communication. <laughs> Alright, what do we got here? Um, wow. I'm gonna have to travel quite far. The hell was it? Oh, you're following me, aren't you? Okay. Um. <laughs> Did you just you're just like standing there for a second, with their arms out like that? That was weird. Uh, let me just uh, put things away in the house quickly. Just drops shit off, so we don't get over encumbered as quickly. The twilight. What? Open your backpack. Actually, no. You. Yeah. Organize this stuff off camera. Until next time, God. Go. Put all this stuff away. I know, right? Champion of Azura. Oh yeah, we also have uh, some Dragon Souls. Let's do that. Yeah, there's um, there's something I've I've always said, and uh, it's always been true. And it doesn't matter if you have Kappa after something. If you've said something insulting, it doesn't matter if you put Kappa. It doesn't actually remove the offensiveness from it. Also. My mods are supposed to be mods to prevent shit like that happening in chat. Check yourselves, please. <laughs> Alright, so. Just wanted to bring, make that clear. Um, I guess we'll just travel here, have a dragon fight, and then travel up there by foot. Because... I mean, I could go to Solitude, but it seems like it's very equal distant. The Twilight watches. Alright, anywho. Uh, let me also grab Unburdened. Increase my maximum carry weight. That's awesome. And it looks like I can do it again next level, maybe? Looks like it. It's all Guardian. Now, is this dragon even here? Yeah, it's still there. Hello, Nervar. Did it 
find something else to fight on top of that cliff? I think it did. There it is. Oh gosh, it actually crash landed. Well, okay then. Oh my god, she's really just lighting up Barbarous. Holy shit. There we go. Yeah, no one says Kappa in real life, though. It's very true. Oh yeah, I'm probably carrying around, yeah, lots of dragon bones, aren't I? Yeah. And lots of ores and ingots. Yeah, it should work. Until next time, sorry. Sweet. So, let me just check them out. Yep, cool. There we go. Hey, Saber Wolf, how's it going? Gosh, what the hell? Isn't that Chain Lightning shouldn't have gone to everybody else? I'm gonna soul cloak too. Oh, my magic sucks sometimes. Jeez. Let's get rid of these goblins. He looks a bit taller. Oh, he was on top of a rock, that's why. I was wondering what was going on there. Yeah. One of the things that, um... That's lost often, uh, in, like, online humor is that you can't put a tone of voice to something. Um... But yeah. Let's see here. Don't really need any of those. What do we got here? Lots of potions. Nice. Frostbite and sparks. I'm ooh, it's got a human heart. And vampire dust. Cool. Those goblins have like some weird stuff on them. Alright. Oh, this place becomes important at some point. I think, does this place have Keening or something? Oh, hi there. Oh, gosh. Wham! Destruction increased. Nice. Or at least I have to remember this place for the Convectors, I believe. Yeah, it just doesn't translate well in a chat, unfortunately. <laughs> or at least I think this place becomes important later. Weird because it is unmarked, but whatever. Yeah, Kappa is a way to add sarcasm, but it's it's tough to be like, you know, like, you're an asshole or fuck you Kappa. Like, it's a very... 
Like, does that actually absolve the fact that you just said that? <laughs> Context is very important. Um, let's grab this. I don't know if there's any quest associated with this. I might as well. Brilliant Lord Nervar, cool. Cool. We're actually very close. Um, I think I'll have to work my way around this mountain. Hit the pagan. Yeah, true that, Saber Wolf, yeah. Well, yeah, th that's the thing, though, is that, like... Yeah, and that's the thing, is when you say it in a monotone voice, then, then that's difficult. But, like, it's almost like you have to do, like, italics or something. Like, it's very tough to, to sort of put that in, it like, in a very funny way. Yeah. But, no, I agree. I, I'll, I'll say, like, you know, fuck you jovially to someone else, and it, they'll get it. But it's, it's, it's a tough thing to do online and have them understand it's a joke. Just straight up had bear traps everywhere. I think I just took Forsworn arrows. I don't think I have a Forsworn set yet, actually. I should probably take one. Because I like having different armor sets, I guess. Oops. There we go. Armor, boots, gauntlets, and headdress. Yay! <laughs> Yes, true that, true that. I just wanted to make that apparent for everybody in chat that Kappa doesn't always make things better. And that's always better to have Kappa in the line of text that you want to have read with the haha -ha funny sarcastic and not the line after. That's always helpful. Hmm... So it's still around the bend here, not quite. Yeah, the Force Sword Arm would be nice for like a druid playthrough, which I might do eventually. We'll have to see what I'll feel like um, my next playthrough of Skyrim. Because there are certain things like I won't be doing the Thieves Guild, and I probably won't be doing the Dark Brotherhood with uh, with this build because it wouldn't really make sense because I'm doing heavy armor and magic. So it'd be kind of difficult for me to just, like, sort of respec on the fly and be, like, a heavy armored, like, I'm gonna, like, be magic all up in your face and murder you. Secretly. But yeah. <laughs> Weird stuff. Wait, what? I don't even know what that is. What? Yeah, that's kind of weird, man. <laughs> oh, there's the cave. Oh, I'm above it. Whoops. Let me just do this, because stuff's getting fucking weird. <laughs> there we go. Positive vibes for now on, people. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Alright. Alright. 
cool. So this is the right place. Nice. Yeah, we like to keep things light in chat, you know what I mean? Like, we don't like to bring up heavy topics like that. You know, we, we stay away from politics, we stay away from, like, stuff that, you know, would normally, you know, be upsetting. Because, well, when it comes down to it, we're all here to relax at the end of, you know, a long day of whatever we're up to. Bastion Lort. Assume a trench knife. Black hide. Shaman light boots. Shaman cap. It's got shaman the armor. Twilight watches us all. Crazy. Oh, and there's the uh, Rueful Axe. Nice. Scroll of Conjure Familiar. Steel dagger. No idea, Darth Gandalf. No. I'd look that up on Google just to see what that is. Usually that'll help you out. Like, if you're, if you're unsure of what, um... Like, a program running in the background is. It's always a good thing to do. Nice, okay. Hmm. Take small antlers, salt piles. What do you need, God? Probably not. It doesn't sound like it. Is there anything I can actually disenchant that I have on me right now? Nope. I actually know a lot of cool enchantments. Apparently there's even more. Like I was reading up on the uh is it Wintermist enchants? I think it's called Wintermist. And like, they, there's like a crazy amount of enchantments that are available and we haven't even found yet, which is crazy. Really interesting, Darth Gandalf. Weird. Hmm, caves. I wonder what's below. We were just in that cave. Alright. Let's bring it back. Tamar Shane. Yes, champion of Azul. What do you need, God? Oh yeah, couldn't we have taken a shortcut? Yeah, it's fine. I think I have enough stamina to rush through here. What the hell did I just shout? Oh, mark for death. Okay. It's a good one. We should probably have Foos Roda, though. Because, like, for real, that one can actually save your life. Huh, so it does have something to do with NVIDIA drivers. Weird. Huh. I think I have all these auto saves going. They're not actually auto saves though. They're they actually are hard saves. So if you take a look, like there's Haymar Shame, there's opening in Haymar Shame, like so there's actually a lot of saves going on. Although there hasn't been a lot in between, like I guess what? Being outside or something like that? So I do have to remember to save more often when I'm like traveling just outside willy-nilly because that doesn't always save out there. All right. Let's hand this in. Ah, you've got the axe. And my dog. Splendid. <laughs> really? 
Nice. All right, we're back. Now fulfill your end of the bar. Excellent work. A hero and his faithful companion retrieving the ancient artifact for the prince. It's almost storybook. Ah, oh, but it almost seems a shame to give a weapon like that away, doesn't it? I suppose I could be persuaded to let you keep it. But only if you use the axe to kill Barbus. Simple as that. Um. Uh, no deal. Take the axe and take back Barbus. Uh, you're no fun at all. Guess I'll have to make my own fun elsewhere. Gosh. And with the pup back, I'll be restored to my full power. There's a whole world just waiting for me! I knew I could trust you. Yeah, yeah, dog gets master, master gets cosmic axe. Everyone's happy. Just get over here, mutt. Don't worry, I'll make sure he sees the light. I trusted you, now you trust me. Ah, oh, that feels so much better. You forget how nice supreme power feels until you've been stuck in a cave for a few yes, years. Champion of Azure. It's a shame you wished for something so dull as me taking back the mutt. Quite the lack of imagination on your part. A lack of ambition like that really ought to be punished. Perhaps by turning you into a worm. Or maybe a few decades of... Oh, fine. Have my boon and be done with it. Got more interesting deals to make anyway. It is so funny. He really does not like giving you what you like, are promised. Loot magnet, interesting. I swear, if this, like, friggin' bug that's, like, climbing on me? Fucking hell. Ooh, on a scale of ten, like, one to ten, how I'm excited for the new Elder Scrolls the game. I'd be pretty excited for the next Elder Scrolls game, yeah, definitely. Speculation is really anywhere. A lot of people are thinking they're going to go back um, west, though. Because we've focused mostly on the east, like, if you think about it. Like, we've gone, like, Skyrim, Morrowind. Unfortunately, I don't have a map to bring up. But Skyrim, Morrowind, and, and the Imperial, like, like Cyrodiil. And that's more, like, focusing on the east side. So, like, something like southwest would probably be, like, in the Aldmeri Dominion area. Would be um, probably where the next one takes place which would be interesting uh let's see so we got clavicus files max we also got that crazy trench knife from that guy which is cool let's check this out so we now have massive clavicus file it's actually two less armor but trice oh prices are 20 percent better 10 points of speechcraft and magic regenerates 5% faster. Very cool, actually. Very nice. Hmm. Cool. Um, I might, like, wear this, like, just to go, uh, shopping. <laughs> Which would work perfectly, actually. Awesome. All right. Let me drop this stuff off back at my house. I wanted to do that quest because we had, like, that weird elephant trunk in our inventory for a very long time. And I wanted to put that away. The twilight watches us all, Guardian. Really? Really? A very long time ago, like around Morwen's release, Todd said they, they wouldn't do the Beastlands. That's interesting. I haven't heard that, like, in any of the speculation. I mean, interesting thing, though.
What do you need? Yeah. Valen would be nice too. Yeah. What do you need, Guardian? Hammerfell would be pretty cool too. Hmm. All right. Now, what should we? There's always Meridia, which is interesting. Um. Actually, one of the things I'd like to do is we're going to head to High Hrothgar and see if we can't meditate on um, a dragon thing. So I'm going to actually save here because it might be a waste of time. But let's just see. Because apparently we've pleased kind enough by like killing those weird spirit creatures um, to actually meditate further on the different shouts and words that are available. Yeah, I, I, that might have been something he said initially, like, back then, yeah, during Morrowind release, because, I mean, let's put it in perspective here, like, I mean, I can understand, like, lore-wise, like, what is it, um, Black Marsh is supposed to be, like, almost uninhabitable, like, even by Argonian standards. What the hell's an Amulet of Mantras? Also, yeah, Todd has changed his mind about a lot of different things. I mean, just take a look at everything he's ever said about, you know, a game being released. What do you need, Guardian? <laughs> but yeah. Um What is this amulet of the mantras? Automatically equips the first shout in your mantra when entering combat. Uh when each subsequent shout Interesting. I don't even know what that is. Alright, anyway. Uh, let's see if we can do this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um... ESO is not a Bethesda game. It is it is Zenimax. Boots of Dreams. Oh my gosh, what the hell are all these? Oh my gosh, I didn't even check the loot. I was just checking this stuff. It's nuts. Yeah, it was resupplied by Zenimax, but it's like based on the Elder Scrolls lore. Yeah. Alright, so I think this is 20 seconds. One, two... Is that enough? Oh, it was interrupted early. Damn. I hope it doesn't. I hope it doesn't, the pagan. Alright, let's try that again. So I have to get below 20%. And then what will happen is like I'll be able to meditate on all the shouts I have. And sort of be able to rearrange the words and then new shouts. Okay, so that was the only new one. So let's see what that was all about. Should be in here, right? Armageddon. Earthquake. Force. Mark for death. Kill. Splinter Twins. Your voice speaks of phantasmal terrors. Uh, of your enemy's greatest fears made flesh and steel. What? 
sounds crazy. Let's see what that's like. I guess you have to cast it on an enemy? Hmm. Oh well. I think what you have to do is see that it only did kill. Now that's the only one that I've learned or like unlocked for a long time. Which was marked for death. So it looks like in order to really take advantage of this mod, I am actually going to have to unlock all of these other like shouts that I have in my inventory but don't know. So I'm actually going to um, load back from here probably. Actually, I'm 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 still I'm still up for, like a uh, settlement recolonizing um, Vardenfell, like 200 years after um, the Dragonborn from Skyrim. I'm still up for that, man. Uh, there is a dragon attacking somewhere. Black Marsh would make for a boring game if they make it dynamic enough but I can understand that people might not be interested in vast swamp lands but like if they brought like this settlement building and carried it over into like basically Vardenfell I think it would be really awesome <laughs> I'm just like pushing him around Wait, are you even- you're alive still, aren't you? No, she's not! Oh, so, never mind. Apparently I've just been knocking over a dead person for a while. Whoops. Oh, so it was that guy the whole- oh. So, like, all these guys died because- oh. Whoops. It's true, yeah, most places only Argonians can survive in too. I just think it'd be cool to eventually go there somehow. I don't know why. Scroll of Life's Finale, interesting. That's a little of nice block increased, hell yeah. Now, I heard a dragon, but I don't know where it, like, Sounded like it came from over here, but that's... Oh, that's one of those, um, Dramen. That's not a dragon at all. Okay. Okay, that's actually gonna be horrendous. Um... Oh gosh, that hurts a lot. I need to back up. <laughs> Um, it's Skyrim too, oh gosh. I don't know about that. Uh, do we have anything to know? That's one-handed weapons. That increases heavy armor skill. That might help me out here. I'm probably going to have to use that. Whoa, ultimate magicka. Why is the... Oh, oh, it's 999, gotcha. <laughs> no, no, I think that's good, Sushi Master. <laughs> that's, um, hmm. Maybe the best thing. I should probably poison my stuff, but I'm not sure if the poison will carry over. Um, let's go for. Potion of Slow. And let's add some lightning bolts in there since he's weak to magic. Nice! That worked out well. Daedra Heart. Nice. Alright. Where the hell was I going? Oh yeah, I wanted to check out this... Uh, place because we got the um the quest from like the war of ethereum 
Yeah, going back in time might not be a bad idea either. You're right about that. Now, where is this? Cool, that's the right one. That's true, the pagan. That's very true, yeah. Alright, so let's try to head to this place. Now, I th think I've only done this once, but... Or, I've done this quest line, like, maybe halfway. So I've never actually finished it, but... I've always been interested in completing this. I don't remember what DLC adds this, but this isn't actually part of the normal game. I think it's added by either Dawn Guard or Dragonborn to sort of add more stuff to the base game. Goblin Warlord. A lot of goblins in these hills. Healing and the magicka, all oh, good stuff, good stuff. That would be pretty interesting, Georgie. I mean, Take this and hold on to it. I'll be back for it later. I'll pay you good. Don't lose it. Um, no time to talk. Snitch or double cross me, and I'll kill you. I mean it. Like in the middle of like. Goblin battles. I don't have time for your shit. You have a lot of potions, actually. Holy crap. Alright, then. He said he'll be back, though, didn't he? Yes, champion of Azura. There's some guy. Yes? Don't give it to the hunter. Keep it. What's going on? Oh. So, normally what's supposed to happen in that exchange is that he asks you, like, to have the shield back and all that stuff. And, like, as a reward for, like, this fugitive. But instead he just saw the fugitive outright and then just killed him. I'm, uh, he's just gonna take the shield back, right? Hey man, I don't know what happened. But I- you just killed a man in cold blood, I'm just gonna leave that there. Um, <laughs> I don't know what happened there. Oh my gosh. But yeah, I mean, we've, um... In Oblivion, we actually played a, um, like a flashback, uh, mod that actually brought you back when Imperials were slaves and there, it was a bunch of, um... It was, it was basically fighting the Heartland High Elves to try to, to gain control of the um, the White Gold Tower. And it was actually pretty cool. It, I mean, they could literally make a whole game out of that. They really could. And it was pretty damn fun. I wouldn't, I wouldn't be opposed to that. It'd be interesting to see the differences between the mod and, and an actual fleshed out game of that, though. Oh, yeah, but, yeah, it doesn't... I mean, like, they might pull the, like, 
180 on us, Darth Gandalf, and be like, okay, so we go from, like, first era, second era, third era, fourth era, and then we just go fucking mental and, like, go, like, back, like, to, like, half era. <laughs> I know, right, Darth Gandalf? I mean, like, here's the thing. Regardless of what's coming next, it's probably going to be awesome. Yes, champion of Azura. Because that's just normally how it is. Like, we'll have our little, you know, complaints about maybe the dialogue system isn't the best, or like, you've simplified stuff yes, again. <laughs> Hopefully not. Because holy shit, at some point it's just going to be like, some like spell shoot em up or something like that I don't even know but like yeah so regardless of what it is it's gonna be pretty damn awesome this place is really like whoa the hell I don't know if there's been any confirming that another one's coming out. I would assume, this is my assumption, that they're focusing wholly, like, completely on uh, Fallout. Because that's the game that, you know, is out right now. And, you know, that's the game they're developing. Turn back. Turn back. Um, but, uh, but yeah, so... I, I don't think... I mean, if it is in development, it's on, like, a back burner, and, like, there's three guys picking their nose in a conference room, like, scratching their asses and saying, should we do this? Okay. And they, like, put it down on a whiteboard somewhere. So, th that's probably the extent of, of what they're putting into it right now, because pretty much they're probably putting everything into the DLCs for Fallout 4 right now. Give me all that stuff. Yeah, it's very true, Bacor. It's very true. They do need to do a um, an Elder Scrolls where uh, you actually can choose to be the bad guy. That would be incredible. Because you have never been able to do that before. It's very true. I mean, hell, they still need that option in Fallout 4, but yeah. What are you still doing? Oh, my what are you still doing here? Let me guess. You're here for the treasure, aren't you? Just like all the others. <laughs> oh gosh, Darth Gandalf. I think people would freak out. Um, who are you? The name's Ketria. I am... was an adventurer. Raided ruins like this for nigh on 20 years. I was on the trail of something big. It led me here, and I didn't make it. Okay, your name sounds familiar. Oh, you read the book, didn't you? The Ethereum Wars. That was my theory, you know. My research, my life's work, all of it lost. Stolen by my own damn apprentice. That's how I ended up here. I can't rest. Not until I find the forge, until I can prove that it was my discovery. Mine, not his. But it's hopeless. Yeah, the pagan. Died True here, that. Just like all the others. Turn back. Turn back before you become the next victim. Um, I can handle myself. Sure, that's what they all say. I'm not going to talk you out of it, am I? I know. I know. I was just like you once. Well, if you want to reach the summit, you're going to need some help. You want a hand? 
Oh, sure. All right. Lead on then. <laughs> oh gosh, with pigeon magic. Yeah, to an extent, yeah, it, every game has some sort of like the you're the chosen one sort of thing. Because when it comes down to it, you're the one hyper leveling. <laughs> and nobody else really does that. Um, and like actually have nice conscious like choices over what skills you're choosing. So you just pretty much just fell. Zephyr ring. Cool. It's a Zephyr ring. That's true, the pagan, yeah. Zephyr ring. Bows draw 30% faster. Wow. Yeah, in Oblivion you kind of were, but at the same time, weren't you also, like, the Shezarine or something like that? Like, it wasn't exactly... Something like that. Yes. There was something weird about it. Like, you could... Like, in the lore that, that you were actually something special, like... Because in Oblivion it does, like, if you don't dig deep, it actually does seem like you are just a normal dude. Who happens to, like, be in, like, one of the most crucial times in, like you know, history, and being able to fix it, but I thought I, I, someone was telling me that you're like the Shezarine or, you're like something special anyway, despite like, I don't know, whatever. Alright, let's check out this bottom place first before we head up. Dwarven Spear Guardian. It's just all the same stuff. Okay. Oh gosh, Pagora. never did that in my Oblivion series. I have to do that sometime. Where we do the dupling, duping glitch. And try to make my computer explode. It'd be fun too. I'm pretty sure I hit someone like down under the thing. Yeah, that is one of the things, right? Yeah. Is this a thing? Or is this just some fancy shenanigans? Looks like it's just fancy shenanigans. Yeah. Okay. Just checking. Oh! Um... You know what? You might be right about that. I mean, I did play ESO as well. It's basically Guild Wars, but with Elder Scrolls lore. I mean, it's not bad. It's, you know, I, I'd say it's a it's a good first attempt at a, like, a, you know, a multiplayer game for Zenimax. But, you know, when you... S I think the thing that they that they didn't understand when they came out with the idea was the fact that as soon as you say we're going to come out with Elder Scrolls Online, immediately everybody's thought was we're going to have multiplayer Skyrim. And that was their downfall. <laughs> they should have probably chosen another game. Um, because otherwise, people are going to be immediately disappointed because it's not, in fact, multiplayer Skyrim. So, yeah.
That's true, yeah, I, I heard the lore wasn't constant either. Alright, let's see. Um... I know, if they actually did that, then they would make so much money off of your life. Oh, you mean local co-op? Local co-op Skyrim will be also be very cool, you're right about that. Uh, let's see, let's take that. Dwemer stuff. Yeah, not like an online multiplayer, but like, yeah, split screen. I think it'd be better for Skyrim or, or you know, any sort of Elder Scrolls or Fallout game. Yeah, like up to four players or something would be pretty damn cool. Um, that's where we just came from. Ah, oh, we're on this side now. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Local co-op, yeah. Really, Darth Gandalf? That's all it took for you? That's that's pretty funny. I mean, here's like you know, it was it was all right, but you have to take it with a grain of salt that it is in fact a online game with the inspiration of Elder Scrolls lore, not exactly Elder Scrolls lore. Oh gosh. But it was it was a decent game despite, you know, not being multiplayer Skyrim that everybody was expecting. <laughs> it was pretty decent. I just am not really a multiplayer online kind of person really. That poor Falmer. I still have to play Daggerfall. People have told me that Daggerfall is fantastic. There's a chest in there. Doors tight though. What? Don't tell me that. Now I want it. Oblivion's fantastic too. I'm sure everybody has their own sort of like you know, this is my favorite, that's my favorite. Morrowind's still my favorite when it comes down to it. Is there no busting into this thing? I don't think I can quite get into that yet. Is what free? Um all the scrolls online? I don't think so, no. <laughs> yeah, this place really isn't stable at all for him.
Whoa! I thought it, <laughs> it leaped at me, but it really didn't. Oh gosh, there's a freaking Charis Hopper. Gosh, I'm actually fairly low on health. I'm being poisoned, aren't I? Okay, now I'm better. Oh, Dagger Falls 3. I think so, yeah. I think that, yeah. Oh, does he the pagan off to check that out, maybe? Two worlds. It sounds familiar, but I don't think I've played it now. Let me do healing. Healing skill! I have none! Really, Darth Gandalf, you don't like modded Oblivion? Interesting. Are you like a Oblivion purist? Oh no, George. Potion of healing, Fulmer ear. I'd like... I'd like 80... 80 some oblivion mods, I'm fairly certain. Like, just to put that in perspective. Vanilla Master Reigns. I'd like. Wait, do I have a file on here that says. I think I have a list somewhere. Streaming. Oblivion mods. No, I had 59. I had 59. Um. Oblivion mods. Oh yeah, and the other one didn't work. And I don't think that one did either. Yeah, holy shit. Basically more spells and everything, but yeah. There was a lot of Oblivion mods. I mean, no, no, it's... it's <laughs> Goodness gracious. So <laughs> yeah. Oh, gosh, Char. Of course I missed, right? Now, I have to show you guys something for a second, because I've noticed this. I don't know if you guys have noticed this, but this is a very odd thing I've noticed between uh, Charis and uh, and Falmer. If I can drag one, let me. Can I drag you? No. It's very hard to drag them. Oh, really? Hmm. Can't look at them. Uh, but essentially, there's a weird thing I've noticed with Charis, and it's that if you look at a Falmer's face, and like the face of. Oh, they're really tough to move. That's weird. No, nope. but if you notice, they actually have very similar looking faces and like markings. It's very weird. I don't know if it's like coincidental or if it's part of like raising them. Feels like ages ago. This place is cool. There's my bow. There, out on the log. I wonder what happened to it. Oh, let's go the other way first before we head this way, because that seems like, oh, get the thing precariously balanced on that log over there. Oh, okay. I'll, I'll go do that. It just seems like a terrible idea. What the hell is this? Watch your step. Oh gosh. I'll take your ears. 
Can you please get out of the way for a second? Please, please, please. Damn it. I don't know if she's making it worse or better. Can I, like... Nope. Okay. She's making this very difficult for me. This is probably why you fell to your death, is because you came across something very, um... Something very similar to this, where someone's in the way and they just don't know how to move. You need something? Um... Hmm... You can't order her around like a companion. Um... Did they, George? Really? I heard that they might be doing like a Fallout movie, but an Elder Scrolls movie? Here's how I feel about making a movie from a video game. Why waste your money trying to make a film when you could just make a better video game? You know, use all the resources and money to, you know, improve your stuff instead of making a useless movie. I mean, sure, it might bring some revenue or whatever, but yeah. Why bother? That's also true that all games or yeah, all video or movies based on video games are usually very bad. Fires thirty percent faster than a standard dwarven bow. Interesting. Oh, you were just trolling us. Lol. You know, these are things that need to be discussed. Otherwise, Bethesda would be like, oh, maybe it would be a good idea to make a movie. Not, not in my fucking chat. <laughs> not in my fucking chat. Uh. Oh, yeah, right, Darth Gandalf? Yeah. Gosh, that thing's actually quite crazy. Like <laughs> the Dragonborn game show? That'd be amazing, actually. That's quite a sight. Did it just poison me? How are they? That thing's like all the way down there. Interesting. Oh gosh, there's a lot of them actually. stuff here. Skeleton. Is this the way you get over here? Let me double check the area. Okay, cool. Hold up. We need to talk. Oh, okay. You know what this is? It's a lock. A tonal lock. Simple. Very, very deadly. See the resonators up there. 
Strike them in the right order, and a door should open. Get it wrong, and, well, you've seen what happened when I tried it. That's usually what they do, George Birchie. Yeah, that's, that's, yeah. <laughs> nice Darth Candle. But yeah, that's, that's usually what they do, is they do Fallout, Elder Scrolls Fallout, and then occasionally they'll... I'm not exactly sure, like, there's other stuff, like, owned by Bethesda, but I think it's separate teams or something, like, um... Oh, what's the other game I'm thinking of? I can't remember. Um... Okay. Any advice? Well, you can pick up where I left off. My notes should still be in my journal, if you can read it. Beyond that, well, maybe one of our predecessors still has a clue. Okay. Did my really? Yeah, Dishonored, yeah. yeah. That's the game I was thinking of, yeah. Yeah, so I'm not sure, like, what order they sort of do that in. There's a scrap of paper on this adventurer. Now, if you do get these tonal locks wrong, I, I at least did this part. Like, stuff opens up, and we'll probably open up anyway. Yeah, the ratio pagan, yeah, is, is pretty wild, actually. <laughs> oh, gosh. Let's see. Um, I need that scrap of paper. Three, two, and then... Okay, interesting. Alright, we're probably going to get these wrong anyway, just because I like this. Okay, so that was wrong. So that was right. Oops, I learned... Loot magnet. Okay, so one. That's it. Two. Three. Oops. That wasn't right. More loot for getting things wrong. We might just actually do that over and over again. Because um, that's fun. Uh, let's see how many times we can actually get it wrong. Oh gosh, it's a good giant guy. Okay. Alright, do we have a nice thing? Hmm, <laughs> what would be the best thing to do here? Shout-wise, probably... Let's do Mark for Death. Don't know if that actually helped or not. Uh, let's also use some magic potions. Dwarven Centurion Master. Wow! 
Whoa! You devious perplexo, how's it going? Wow. That thing was powerful. Let's get another thing wrong and see what happens. What else could they possibly throw at us? <laughs> yep, that's that's the description I put. Let's see, if we get another thing wrong, like, what's gonna happen? Okay, so it's just that, okay. So I think we have awakened all the, uh, bad things we can, but we got the loot from it. So it looks like we just get bombarded by those, like, ballista. Alright, so it's one, two, three, come on, three, four, and five. There we go. Now we claim the treasure. Anniversary stream. That might be in the works, yeah. I mean... Oh, an Ethereum shard. Cool. What's this all about? So, it is real. Yeah, Master. Yeah, yeah. Oblivion's amazing. Let me see it. Hmm. Look, on the edge here. This has been cut. Precisely cut. If you had another piece about the same size, it would, it would snap right in. I saw a drawing of this once. This shard. It's, it's part of a key. A key made of pure ethereum. The key to the forge. Um, so what now? We have to find the other pieces, of course. There should be, hmm, three more. One for each of the four cities that worked on the forge. I had a map in my journal. That's nice. where we should start. Do I still have Oblivion saves? Um, that will be on my old computer. Um... Yeah, unfortunately, I can't just, like, pop up Oblivion and be like, here was my old character. Be great if I did. I already have another shard. Really? Well, now that makes things easier. Uh, then what? We still have to find the forge itself. I had a lead on that, too. Interesting, okay. There's so much to do. I'm going to head out and start tracking things down. We'll meet again. I'm sure of it. Cool. All right. For the first time in a long while, I think I... Uh, we may actually be able to do this and and I owe it all to you thank you all right talking to ghosts all day good stuff all right Darth Gandalf I'll see you later have a good one oh no totally yeah I mean we've I I've had my one year anniversary already, haven't we? I think. Oh man, there's a lot of stuff in here. Tribunal Mask Ebony. Ooh. What is that gonna look like? I assume just darker. Ooh, okay. Interesting. It doesn't really fit like what I'm wearing, but it might be useful later. It fits the the gold fits the dwarf one really nice. I'm gonna grab all these for extra dwarven ingots. Cause yes. Make you carry you everything, because that's how this works.
one like when is like oblivion's actual like 10 year anniversary though because that might yeah that would probably be a cool thing to do Looks like it does you yeah, have the like it from New Vegas, right? Familiar. I thought that said Staff of the Falner for a second. I was like, what? Until next time, Guardian. Oh yeah, I'm carrying like tons of other stuff, aren't I? Um something like that, slushy master. I can't remember why, but like there's some some reason why like Daggerfall, like I think it's cause it has some sort of Oh, anniversary was on the 20th? Oh. Derp. Um Yeah, it's I think it isn't it partially randomly generated or something like that? Like I I don't know much about um Daggerfall at all, but I heard something around that, like it just keeps going, sort of. Alright, see you, Darth Gandalf. Have a good one. Alright. Now I think we're good? Yeah, we're good now. It's been an honor. I like that I have 400 carry weight now. That's much better than it was previous. Thank goodness. <laughs> It was awful before. What? Typing in red? No, no. No, you're fine. I mean, yeah, other channels you might, but I don't care. I don't even mind when people like type in caps as long as it makes sense. Like, we're very kind of relaxed when it comes to certain rules. Um, does that mean I can just jump down here? Okay, no problems. Yeah. I mean, if you're wondering, like, if something is against a rule, like, you could either whisper me or, like, like we actually do have a rule section, so. Uh, let me quick save. Are you... Woo! Thank goodness for landing in, like, something that maybe isn't even, like, six foot of water and surviving. But sometimes salty. It's true. It's true. Now... I guess she died recently then. Otherwise it wouldn't make sense for her corpse to be like that. Alright, cool. So I think we'll uh, we'll probably stop there for the day then. Um, we've, well, we've become the Archmage. Uh, what else did we do? We did something in between that and this. I just don't remember what it was. But yeah. So uh, we'll, I definitely want to take a look at this Ethereum thing. Because I think I started the first quest but never actually completed it. So I'm very interested to see what the rest of it is. Now we found one Ethereum shard so far besides the one we had, which was near um, Mizolft, right? Around here, Mizolft. Yeah. So we'll have to find some other Dwemer ruins and try to see if we can find some other shards of Ethereum and find the forge. And you know, I should probably figure out what the forge is so that I know what we're talking about. <laughs> So I'm going to go read some of these journals and see what that's all about and let you know tomorrow. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and we'll be back to tomorrow to find some more Ethereum shards and find out where the forge is and what the forge is and yeah. So I'll see you guys later. Alright, see everybody.